to Spacey's Arcade and another Spacey's Experience. We are doing the second table of the new re-releases of uh, South Park. And this is the Butters Show table, guys. And if you haven't seen the other one, go check out the other video uh, for the first um, South Park table. And um, I love that. I thought we had a, had a great time and enjoyed that table. Let's see how this one plays. It's a little, straight off the bat, a little bit less complicated um, and a little bit clearer about what we need to do and certainly the graphics even guys are just a little nicer, a little nicer on the iron cabinet mode, a little bit more shading and I feel like, and there's a you know, nice little lighting effects there, it's not, it's not brilliant but it, it's good physics seem similar um, which is a little bit of a shame because they're not quite not quite the pro physics guys that we were expecting in pimple FX but there's a table that can be enjoyed by all I guess physics are good in that regard. A little central fuge spinner. Nice little toy. <laughs> but yeah like this this table design is is pretty open and you could say it's fairly basic um, but it's nice. I don't know why they did the change there on the table. Is there something going on on the outside? This is sometimes what happens. I've got to be, I've got to be choosing. Mm. Some of these uh, references. Uh, a little challenging in today's age. But this is cool how it goes into this other little mini game, right? Again, we're using DMD EXT and um, Zen's native support for that, for the DMD, and using a standard uh, color palette file uh, to give it some color, guys. It's not a full color DMD, obviously, but it's at least some color to tie it in with the thing. It's got this sort of weighty physics feel as if it's like a you know a play field that's on a big slant. Had a fair fair crack at that though. Crazy music. Trying to get up there. Push again. Like it. There. It was a little risky. Didn't quite want to do it like that, but we got there. Yeah, so again, like you pro guys are going to be probably a little a little bored after a while potentially with these tables just because of the physics. It's such a shame. I just, in, in a way I just wish Zen took this opportunity with Pinball FX to just have the same pro physics on every table, you know? Zen tables, Williams tables. And we just got a consistent feel for pinball. Having said all that though, I will say that again, even in real life, you can play a table, it's set up slower, or an old 80s, 90s uh, table, you know, early 80s SS on a low slant and, and the ball does float around, you know. I've played eight ball deluxe 
at uh, the Pimble Festival and I felt like I was playing on the moon, guys. It did feel like, you know, it was floaty physics. Yeah. So you gotta, you got to realise that tables do feel a little different. So there is that. It's just that with ball movement, just a general ball movement, even if the slope is different, it bounces off the play field differently, the ball movement itself, you can sort of tell. You can tell if it's a real ball or not. And you can tell how some tables just, I don't know, the ball just seems so much more real. But I'm nitpicking a little bit, guys, because, but, but I sort of have to because we, you know, we're Pimple Effects 2, 3, and now Pimple Effects effectively 4, with just the effects. Um, they've been doing this for over a decade, so we should be picky. Quality should be spot on, and guys, it is, it is pretty decent. All right, let's have another crack. <laughs> so I think this table is even, you know, is even more suited for potentially younger people, but, you know, again, the, the, the theme isn't too risque. Zen has been relatively calm with it. And it's sort of hard to pick out all the call-outs and references anyway, guys, just even with the... Even with the, um... Even with what they're saying, you know, it's hard, it's sort of hard to pick out, so... I think it's pretty safe to... Have your kids playing it. Is that bad parenting? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Change it up a bit. Funky music, guys. Oh, shoot, and I was supposed to do the left orbit. It was telling me to do the left orbit, guys. I was just absolutely ignoring that. Shoot the middle hole. That's not the middle hole. All right, uh, going native. Do that. We take Hawaii from the tourists. We have a bit of multiple action, guys. So yeah, I mean, with the modes, eh, like I sort of feel this table's like going on an, like an adventure. <laughs> and it's the butter show, right? So. Okay, lost one. I was just about to say, I reckon I could keep these going all day. <laughs> it's not quite right. As seen there. Okay. 
So yeah, there, there, there's enough in this table A to be to be interesting, and it's just even more casual, I think. Again, how many times do I have to push that? Whew. Oh, we got more. Oh, almost got the mission started. Get the middle hole. Oh, oops. Okay. Uh, the last of the Mohicans. Here. Let's do that. Help the boys cross the border. Shoot the lit ramps and orbits. <laughs> cool little music. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Sorry, guys. A bit lame. Okay. I'm missing the skill shot. Oh wow, gotta get that back, surely. Yep. <laughs> Tilted it, guys. Tilted it. <laughs> So there you go, the butter show, the second table of the pair. Uh, again, it's a, it's a buy, guys, in my view. I think this is this is a nice companion table to the other one. Um, again, at South Park, if you love South Park, you're gonna love this. Good family game, good casual game. Uh, yep, again, physics a little bit down on this table, but it's fun, accessible. If that's what you want. Pick up butters guys, so there you go, there's another Spacey's experience for you, make sure you like and subscribe, tell me what you think of this table too, I'm always interested in your views, and uh, we'll kick on to another video coming up shortly, until then guys, make sure you look after yourself, play all your games, all that good stuff, and of course, keep on keeping on.